My name is Vahid Chitel, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here this morning. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Sure. Well, thank you so much for having me. My name is Mandy DeVoe, and I'm actually tuning in from Nova Scotia, Canada. And uh, it's actually almost supper time here. So it's almost five o'clock. So that's quite the time difference. Awesome. Awesome. So let's dive into it. Listen, I know you do a lot of different coaching, but if entrepreneurs want to start getting their, their message out, what are a couple of tips that you could give them as far as marketing goes? What are a couple of steps that they need to take? And then I'm going to ask, what are things that you see they're doing wrong so they could avoid <laughs> some of that? <laughs> oh, for sure. Um, really, the biggest thing that I see people need to be doing more of is really showing more of themselves. And I know we hear the word authenticity and being authentic so often. But it's really about being a real person and really showing your true colors because people are going to relate to that and that's how they're going to build that relationship. People are looking to trust businesses and trust brands now and so they want to make sure that they their values align. So being sure that everything you put out there is genuine and valuable. That is what's going to make the big difference and have better success when you're doing your online marketing on social media and stuff. At some point, do I make that distinction between being it personal and being authentic? Because I feel like a lot of individuals confuse that. Just because I, does that mean I got to share pictures of my daughter and then us going on a trip? Does that mean being authentic so everybody knows I got a daughter? How do you differentiate? How do you, where is the, where is the, where do you draw the line? <laughs> That's a really great question, actually. And it's, it's not so much because a lot of people feel uncomfortable sharing their personal life. And personally, I don't share my personal life or a lot of it, but I do share that I have kids because I work with a lot of female entrepreneurs and they can relate to that. So what's important is your brand. Your brand may not relate to people who have children. So it's not necessary that you show them that you have children. So it just depends on who you're trying to communicate with and you want to show them that really the values that your business believes in are true and that you live by them. So it's really about making sure that the message you're putting out there truly aligns with the actions your business is taking. So say that you're a business that's one of your values is that you're sustainable and you really focus on eco-friendly things, but then you're showing pictures of like a Range Rover or a Ferrari or something like that, but you're truly not living what you say your company is doing. So that's where it's going to get mixed messages and you're not going, you're going to lose that trust that you're trying to build with your audience, if that makes sense. So what are a couple of things that you see a lot of people doing wrong? What are some uh, of our mistakes? I mean, I don't think it's wrong. I just think it's a learning curve and experience, but what can we avoid or what should we avoid? The biggest thing that I see small businesses doing and it, in the, the larger businesses have the capacity to have someone on staff who's focused on this. So they really tend to do a lot better, not knocking small businesses. It's just, they don't usually have the cash flow to have a person hired to do this. So they're trying to manage it all themselves. And so they're either just posting for the sake of posting. So they're not bringing any value or they are just, they're, they're just constantly making sales pitch. So they're constantly making a buy from me, buy from me, buy from me. This is on sale. This is on sale. This is on sale. And that's not interesting to, for people. They may notice it once or twice, but eventually it's just going to become noise and you're losing that connection. So you need to make sure that everything that you are posting is meaningful and valuable and it's worth someone stopping and reading. So that's why it's more about telling a story or showing something that's interesting, something like that, that's really going to get them to engage. And I know it's easy, it's easily said, but sometimes it's really hard to come up with that actual content that's going to be so good and that's going to create that engagement. I think that's why it's so important to have someone who really is dedicated to that task in your business instead of just trying to put it out there just for the sake of posting, if that makes sense. <laughs> no, that does make sense. But you, you know what I realized though? creating content for me personally i can't do it as i go i literally gotta sit down meditate on it and what i'm like figuring out okay what is my what is the message and some of my content when i create it is repurposed like i can reuse it again because i've already put thought you know i, I put energy into it like i know it's good so you know but i feel like a lot of people 
are having a difficulty because they figure they have to create content on daily basis. I don't do that. What is your recommendation? I am completely with you on that. And I think that that's where so many business owners are, are lost. They're not really putting together a strategy. They're really just going at social media thinking, okay, I just need to be there. And, but that's not enough. To be thoughtful is to really do things in a smart way. So I am such a huge fan of YouTube and creating content that way because it can be repurposed. And I've actually created a video on my YouTube channel that shows how you can take a blog and turn it into a whole week's worth of content. And this is just going to keep bringing value and having places where you can meet your audience and bring them back to your website, bring them back to your business. And so essentially, if you start off with a, a video on YouTube, for example, then you're able to turn that into a podcast you can turn that into a blog you can turn it into graphics you can turn it into infographics you can turn it into quotes you can do so much with that one piece of content that you could probably build like at least a whole month's worth off of one solid video it's just a matter of knowing how to do it and how to put it out there but you need a whole strategy that's thoughtful and meaningful and that way you can find exactly what your audience is interested in and give them value I agree with that 100%. Tell us a little bit about your book. Um, what do you mean, my book? I mean, I mean, I, I, I saw that you had, a, you, had, you had something on your, on your Instagram that you had a book. Did you write a book or no? No, I didn't write a book. Oh, okay. I thought you did. I thought you did. I was like, cool. I'm interested. I thought it was on marketing. I was like, I need to get that book. So that's what <laughs> I wanted to ask you. I was like, cool. I wanted to get that. <laughs> no, I put together a guide. So okay, not, talk to, tell us about the guy. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay, yeah, tell us I, about the guy. Yeah, so you can actually get it on my website. Um, there's a link to it. Uh, I'm just trying to think exactly where it is. At the bottom of my, my homepage, devotedmarkets.com. There's 15 essential free tools you need for social media. And it shows you the basics, the concepts, and understanding social media and what platforms you should be on, what the general purpose of each platform is, so you're able to clearly set the goal that you're trying to achieve with that platform. And then it introduces different tools where you can get free stock images, um, different content that you can curate. So it's really valuable for someone who's a small business and doesn't really know where to get started. So this is a great tool for you there. And I also have um, another guide, which was the, it was nine free opt-in ideas. Because when you have a free opt-in, it increases the opt-in rate by over 200%. And so people don't really understand the ins and outs of that and what's important. And so it's a step-by-step -step guide there too. So that's devoted. What I don't understand is what are you doing in Canada with this kind of skills? You should be in U S what's up with that. <laughs> you know what what are you doing there? I who love... tricked you into that? I want to know who, who brainwashed you to do that. I want to find out how did they do that? What are you doing in Canada? <laughs> well, I was born here and it, it was, it's beautiful. So I've never been to the States, but that's definitely where I, I would love to go. I have so many uh, friends and colleagues there and I'm actually doing coaching with people in the States and it's really, really fun to see the differences between Canada and the States. But no, I'm, I'm really happy here, but I'll definitely come visit. <laughs> definitely. You got to visit. I mean, you, you got to visit, but I mean, the way I look at it is Obviously, there's a big difference in population with Canada. I don't have the latest number, but when you look at U.S. and we got 330 million, I think about 150 million of them already on just Instagram. So there, now you have the big population, and you're trying to make, you're trying to like cut into it and get some attention. Obviously, you have to do the 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 the, the social media the right way, or else you're not going to be able to do. It. Or you're just there. If you're just there to observe, that's a, that's one thing. But if you want to be there to attract people and let people know about your services, that's different. Which comes to my other question. If an individual that's just starting right now, if there's two platforms that they need to focus on and they need to be on, because I feel like a lot of entrepreneurs may not have the time to go on all of the platforms. I think they need to start from somewhere. What would be the easiest two platforms that you think they should start on and be on? The easiest to and for small business. So there's so many factors and it really just depends. Um, if you're talking strictly social media, it would be Instagram and Facebook because Instagram is going to help people to be discovered and Facebook is really going to help, especially if you're doing local businesses and you're able to create so much organic traffic that way, which is something else that I can completely cover. But 
it's just the other concept you need to consider is that if you take the time to invest in your Pinterest or your YouTube, that's search engine traffic, which is a completely different concept than your social media. So it's a good idea to be either on YouTube or Pinterest with your Instagram and your Facebook. So it's just, there's so much more to it. So it's, it's hard to answer that question. So when are you putting a course together? When is that course coming together where you're going to show us and see what's up with that? Um, well, it's in the works See, this right is what now. I'm talking about. <laughs> this is why you gotta. This is why you gotta be in the states. This is what I'm talking about. We would have had that course already out. Oh no, I completely agree. And so my actual business is that I develop develop websites for people. I do graphic design and social media management. And it's kind of naturally progressed into coaching because so many small businesses have coming to me, and I'm helping them with all these things. But then they don't know how to manage it on their own. So then I'm teaching them all these different things. And so I'm really excited that I'm branching out and I'm now helping businesses bring their courses online. So I'm actually building learning management systems for businesses. So if anyone has a coat, like a course like this that they want to put online and get in front of people, I can help them bring it online as well as promote it. So I'm kind of a one-stop shop if you're looking to really build your small business online. Awesome. How do people find you? at devotedmarkets.com and they can find all of my socials from there. There's uh, my portfolio for my graphic design work. There's so much stuff. I've, I've got a lot that I'm <laughs> kind of dabbling in at the same time. Listen, I want to thank you so much for taking this time. What's your, my last question, what is your favorite self-help book? Um, favorite self-help book? Hmm. I really do enjoy the uh, Think and Grow Rich. <laughs> it is a fantastic book. And the reason is that so many people are missing that component of visualizing and figuring out that dream that they really want, but they're missing that component that they really need to think it. If you don't have the right mindset and you don't have it in your mind that you can do it, you're not going to be able to. So you need to visualize it, put it in front of yourself so you see it every day and have that right mindset and you can achieve anything. It's just like the book says. Love it. Listen, thank you so much for taking this time and being with us this morning. Definitely stay safe. We'll talk to you soon. Yes, you too. Thank you. Bye-bye.